Sorry, sorry.
to be able to hit that shot across court, deep in her forehand corner. Also the vision to see that there was a gap that side. 90% of the time players would have played that straight and played it to the back of the court. Instead of which she plays an aggressive shot.
the movement of these two players. So strong and controlled. Rarely off balance. Both quite tall women. Zhu Lin, 5'9", 1m75. Lu Lan, 5'10", 1m77. Following, I guess, in the mould of the current Olympic champion, Zhang Ning. Very tall, elegant player. Zhang Ning has had her problems recently. Lack of form. She is, of course, 31. And China really need new stars in the women's singles event. And they seem to have found it with these two. All good. Yeah, just misjudgment. Could have played it, was in position. 11 14. Oh, that's brilliant. Such deception. Looked as if she was either going to play the smash or the clear. Checked the racket at the very last moment to play the drop shot. But even trying deception on the block. And this is one of the things that so impresses me with these Chinese players. So many people tend to miss what they're looking at. Of course they're athletic, of course they're so fit and so fast about the court, but their racket skills are just a delight. They're so deceptive. And I think sometimes in other countries around the world, because they get so impressed about the speed of movement that that's what other athletes tend to concentrate on instead of also working on the racket skills. her opponent making her twist and turn from side to side for forehand having been to the backhand and played with pace as well to say it really has been Lu Lan who has controlled the front of the court and that absolutely vital in badminton if you control the net area you tend to control the game but she will know that was a missed opportunity And it still seems to me that it's Lu Lan that's dictating the pace. And Zhu Lin is just having to react to whatever her opponent throws at her. Three points from this opening game for the youngster. held in apology 
shuttle deflected by the net court. well wide. Well, it's going to take a huge effort from Julin. Come back in this opening game. Oh, fantastic. Well, she's enjoyed an awful lot of success playing cross-court from deep in her forehand corner. She's played the drop we've seen before at the sliced angled shot, and it's brought up game point. Oh, and what a way to save it. Exquisite cross-court backhand net shot. Technically, such a difficult shot to play, but because she took it early, she made it possible. Still five more game points. Long. Well, this, of course, is the stage of a game where an awful lot comes down to nerves. Still another three game points. Another two. And Lu Lan gotta calm her nerves. out and finally she converts Lou Lan the opening game 21 18 didn't have a tournament in 1998 we're delighted that it's back as a regular in the World Grand Prix Tour, and of course from next year, part of the Super Series. So one game to the good, 21-18 that opening game. Lu Lan in the pink shirt nearest to us against Zhu Lin. Oh, what a wonderful backhand landed on the line. Perfection. Oh, clever. So often in singles we see the attacking shots. 
directed down the side of the court. That's what your opponent is expecting. And therefore, when you smash one directly at her, she's a little bit surprised and can't get out of the way, can't give herself the freedom to play the shot. Very, very effective. We see it a lot in doubles. I think it should be mo used more in singles. That is the more usual way of winning on an attacking play in singles, smashing straight down the line. And once again, as with the opening game, tremendous start by Lu Lan. Ah, oh, well, I think she took one that would have dropped wide. She says to herself, oh, well, I'll just play a net shot and make it a net cord so she can't get it back anyway. Terrific. For love. Pushed it long. Well, I was in Surabaya earlier this year for the Indonesian Open when these two met in the final. And on that occasion, Zhu Lin really overwhelmed her opponent. Zhu <laughs> Lin looked overawed by the whole occasion. And what a difference she appears to be here in Seoul. Exchanges really suiting Julin. Very alert onto that. Shuttle changed. And this is where the youngster, Lulan, has to keep her discipline. And by that I mean not go for winners too early on in the rally. Have to push your opponent, push them out of position. Once they're not back ready in their base position, that's when you can go for the winner. playing with a lot more aggression and purpose than the last time I saw these two players play one another. Oh, classic tactics. Push your opponent deep into the forehand corner and then block the shuttle across court. There, she's played from the deep forehand, then having to play low backhand, out of position. That's when you can play the winner. Great tactics. Oh, no, no, no. That's not possible, surely. Well, instinctive racket control back to the net, good spatial awareness, knew where their court was, and the skills to complement it too. Ten, four. Ten, four. Having taken the opening game 21-18, yes, and she's got to the mid-game interval. 
a seven point advantage. And certainly at the moment, the 18 year old looks very much in control. I wonder what's going through her mind. I wonder if she should try and plan to extend the rally since we're looking at the Danish squad. Dean Rasmussen, thankfully back from injury. Lady with the blonde hair just to the right of the picture. Ruptured an Achilles tendon at the Sudaman Cup in Beijing last year. Welcome return to her back to World Badminton. So 11-4 the advantage to Lu Lan. Second game having taken the first. it long well she did this towards the end of the opening game Lulan looked to be in total control She was 2014 in front and then had a very nervous next four rallies. Closed it out in the end. Oh, superb. Her control and her dominance at the net continues. One of the striking features of that opening game. Look how early she takes the shuttle. She had so many options. She could have held and flicked, pushed the shuttle. is just about perfect. Well, it seems to me as if Julin is running out of ideas. Whatever she's trying that time, tried the attacking play directly at her opponent. And Lulan just guides it into the open space. Well, we're getting to the stage of it's now or never as far as Julin is concerned. And I suspect from that it might be never. And remember, has never won a Grand Prix title. She won the Polish Open in 2004, but the Polish Open is an international event, not part of the World Grand Prix circuit. <laughs> Flick serve is long of that back line. down in a match like this the one thing you have to do is make sure you get your serve over and in
just fantastic. She apologizes for hitting her opponent. But tactically, very astute. Moving well, great aggression. Seeing the half chance. Perfect, landed in again. Two points away from the title. moving Mulan so well pushing her from corner to corner and in that rally it was Julin that was doing the dictating of the pace commanding the rally and she hasn't really been able to do that so far in the match A little dispute over whether to change the shuttle or not Once again, perfect net shot from Lulan. And it takes her to match point. And she finishes with a wonderful cross-court backhand. Applauds the crowd here at the Jiangchun Stadium in Seoul. Her first ever Grand Prix title. And she won it in such style. Their confirmation of the score, 21-18, 21-11. And a new star of World Badminton